Hey friends, welcome to Chai and Coaching. Rob here. We've got a special, special treat for you guys. Some students created a Google extension for LinkedIn that helps F1 students find OPG jobs online. It's going to be really helpful. So grab some chai and join us. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is going to be a super practical, helpful video and a little tutorial to help you guys in your job search. We've got a couple international students who this uh, pandemic instead of just watching Netflix, have created an incredible tool and resource for you guys. So let's go ahead and meet them. You guys want to introduce yourselves? Yeah, I'll go first, Rob. So, hi guys, my name is Nihar. Uh, I am computer science graduate student from UT Arlington. Uh, I'm from India, Pune, and uh, like I'm the co-developer of uh, this awesome plugin. And thanks, Rob, for having us over here and having Chai with us. <laughs> Definitely. Thank you. Welcome, Nihar. And go ahead, Omkar. Hi, Rob. I'm Omkar, and um, I am a UTA graduate, a recent graduate, and uh, I'm, I did my master's in computer science. And uh, I am the ideator, you can say, of the plugin. And I'm fond of uh, doing such things. And of course, during Corona time, I uh, try to you know play with my ideas and do some good stuff. Well, this is what I love about Chai and Coaching. It's all about students helping students and helping each other on your guys' success in your journeys here in America. I love that these guys reached out and told me about this, that they wanted to make it available to other students. And I love, I mean, you guys are master's students in computer science. So I know you guys are super smart <clears throat> and the technology is top notch. And I've loved hearing this story, but in the pandemic, the past few months, we've been on lockdown. People have been responding in different ways. Some people have just been, you know, vegging out. Some people have been really busy working hard. And I love that you guys, went to work on a project that's not only going to help you guys in your resume and experience, but is also going to benefit other students. So go ahead and just tell us what inspired you guys to make this tool. Absolutely, Rob. So um, being an international, we uh, have to a bit struggle for applying for jobs, maybe full-time or internships. And um, I had some uh, initial experience applying jobs over LinkedIn, Indeed, and uh, I used to get callbacks. And in a few cases, it happened that uh, I got some callbacks. I had some initial rounds and the recruiter tells me, oh, you, you are great. Your skills are apt, but uh, we can't proceed because the company is not ready to sponsor your work visa. And I'm like, oh, I mean, I was a bit disappointed, but then I thought I should do something. I should do something so that I beforehand know that does a company sponsor or it does not. Yeah, I, so, I've gotten so many stories of students saying that they get far in the process or they have a good option, but then, oh, we don't sponsor. And yeah, they get rejected so much because of that. So uh, Rob, so similar thing happened with me. Uh, <clears throat> so like I even have so me and Omkar, we were uh, in the same course uh, and like we were in that same struggle of applying to jobs and you know getting those emails of rejection saying you know who don't sponsor and uh, so like one fine day uh, Omkar and me we were like sitting in my uh, like, we're chilling at weekend uh, over a couple of beers and Omkar said you know uh, let's what if there is something uh, which could help us you know streamline the process and help filter out the companies which uh, do not uh, you know apply for uh, apply for sponsorship. Uh, so there should be some kind of filter, and so I said, yeah, I mean, let's see if there's any solution over there in place. Uh, so like we went, like next day we went uh, and saw, uh, like search for certain solutions, but there was none in place. So that's how like we came up, you know, let's, let's try doing this thing, and you know, it would definitely help uh, us. And then if like it goes good, then uh, everyone out there because everyone is like in the same boat over here. Mm -hmm. So like that's how like we came up with that idea. Actually, it was his idea. I just like tag along. No, that's <laughs> great. It's better to work on things in groups and teams than our own. And that's what in innovation and entrepreneurship is, is seeing problems and, you know, trying to do something about it versus just complain and whine about it. So I love it. Uh, so yeah, tell us just real briefly kind of how you built it, you know, give a few of the technical terms, what's working on here, and then maybe you guys can showcase it and tell people how to use it. Sure, sure. So um, actually we use uh, LinkedIn a lot and uh, we thought let's make something for LinkedIn and what it's called is a Google extension. So uh, initially we built it just for our local machine and having some uh, knowledge of JavaScript. So I said Nihar that let's code something very basic 
uh, very uh, which is called a prototype in technical terms and uh, then we started building the front end and uh, gradually we started over the back end and it was uh, going good initially and uh, we we had a bit of delays like a lot of delays uh, in the speed specifically and then uh, i said nihar that like, can you can you work upon the back end so i i guess he can more explain how uh, he did the back end because i did the front end part of that and uh, mainly the user interface like you said like uh, he pretty much did a lot of prototyping over there and then we were struggling at some places so uh, like i'm good in back end i like 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 doing a lot of stuff with database and crawling and all those things so uh, then we started you know uh, developing certain uh, rule sets or like certain approaches how we could you know enhance the plugin so so in the initial plugin which we developed it literally took us like 19 seconds to fetch the result uh, saying you we go to a company and like you hit our button saying it highly sponsors or whatever the result that gets uh, it took us literally like 19 seconds and then the task was to bring it from that 19 seconds to microseconds and then we mm-hmm. did a lot of caching over there uh, like crawling going to multiple websites enhancing stuff and then finally like we bought it from 19 seconds to few microseconds so in in worst case we still uh, hit like uh, eight to nine seconds but like in the best case uh, we are like good with microseconds so that's uh, that's been. awesome impressive and uh you guys told me that it just it wasn't accepted the first time tell about the application process and with google and how it, what you had to do to make it official absolutely absolutely so uh, so as i said we did all this in our local machine and uh, then we thought like how it will be available to everyone i mean we uh, we are just two users but what if our friends need it so then we thought let's let's think of uh, hosting it over google or somewhere and then uh, we got to know that google has its own web store for the extension as the similar app store for android so mm-hmm. similarly web store for google chrome extensions and uh, it has a kind of documentation they ask for many things is the data secure are you using uh, particular coding styles and everything and we we were in enthusiasm and we are like, we are going to do it so we thought we are good J- just uh, sub- let's just submit it so yeah. we actually took all the stuff and just filled all the information and submitted in the first attempt and yeah. we we were hoping but they they took out some flaws and i guess nihar after that worked on that yeah. right <laughs> so yeah so so they uh, they took out some flaws uh, like they they actually thought like we are spam we are spamming uh, <laughs> oh no <laughs> <laughs> spammers <laughs> they gave us those reason to know uh, potential spam and all those things so then we like worked again together uh, refined a uh, few sites uh, gave lot of information documentation providing you know uh, this is not spam but actually we are like doing something legal over here just helping out over there uh, and then we applied it again uh, fingers crossed uh, and like to be very frank we thought we are going to get rejected at this time as well because we have never done this thing but luckily like when like uh, i still remember it was around like 11 pm and yeah. car in a call hey you know our fucking god accepted you know <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> yeah. yeah it's party <laughs> that's awesome yeah. Well, that's cool. Well, let's let's go ahead and show people. Uh, if you guys want to share one of your screens and actually show the site where people can get it, how it works, let's give a little demo and make this as helpful for people as possible. Sure, sure. Uh, I will go ahead and uh, share my screen. And while Omkar is pulling this up, um, I'm just going to say, I love this this innovation. Love your hard work. Proud of you guys. And this is actually what's really helpful in the U.S. job search. This experience. this problem solving this is what companies look for that you don't know the theory but you're actually putting it to use and these are the things that are going to make you stand out in your job search and so props to you guys cuz i think this is going to really help you guys out in your resume in your career path and little projects like this uh have a big payout for any user or candidate uh to use a plugin first he needs to download it and the name is quite simple he has to just uh, search on google a linkedin h1b plugin so it is for linkedin and it's a filter which checks for visa so it's that simple it's linkedin h1b checker and um 
once I, uh, it, the results pop up, the first link itself is our plugin link. And uh, once you click on that, uh, you can see our, a, a small uh, tutorial on how the plugin works, some few screenshots, and uh, you just have to go ahead and download. So here I have already downloaded, so it is showing for me that remove the checker, but uh, remove the plugin, but as I have already downloaded, uh, we can just go ahead to the LinkedIn. So once you have downloaded, you can see a pretty uh, small yellow colored icon on the screen, which says the same, the LinkedIn H1B checker. And there we go. Once that's done, uh, we go to the LinkedIn. I guess every job seeker has LinkedIn profile and they have some uh, job searches already done. So maybe I'm a software engineer. I'm looking for software engineer positions or maybe a chemical engineer or civil, any, any job search, which I have already saved. And once I click on that, I can see multiple uh, positions, like multiple listings, which are called. And all uh, I have to do if I want to know that this company is going to sponsor me or it has been sponsoring me, I just have to click on this uh, yellow color icon and uh, refresh the page once because it takes a time, a bit time to align with uh, your own custom profile because every user has his own custom profile. And once I click on this button, uh, it takes some time calculating and uh, yeah there there's the result so i guess uh, as nihar said earlier it's a, a matter of some microseconds right so in some yeah. microseconds few microseconds you just get to know that okay rubric is the company which uh, has till date sponsored h1b visas and filed green cards which is 211 so awesome. we mark it as a highly sponsoring. So any, any international candidate can go ahead and apply. So there are a high, high, high chances, high probability. Cool. Right. Well, let's do one more as another example. Absolutely. So let's see uh, this one. And I click again and it takes, oh, yeah, there we go. So it's a, it's a company which has a lesser number of sponsors, like hardly it has done one H1B or green card till date. So being an international, I would think that it is uh, hardly that this company is sponsoring visas. So should I go ahead and apply or no? Because Rob, uh, I know as a candidate and Nihar also has same experience. It's, it takes about 10 to 10 minutes for sure for each application to fill out. So if I am getting to know right here, then it's saving a lot of my time. Yeah. Yeah, this and, is incredible. Uh, let's let's try luck on one more. Say, so that that's one more which fairly sponsored. So it is like in between both of it. Mm -hmm. So I can take a risk and I I, I can apply for the same. So maybe my application uh, gets through. So that's how uh, this plugin efficiently will help the users. This is amazing. This is going to save so much time, help people be more effective and efficient in their job search. I love it. This is awesome. Um, anything else that people need to know about this plugin besides what you guys have shown so far? Yeah, uh, Nihar can throw some light on um, the other aspects. Yeah. So, uh, like, we have tested this uh, plugin on certain set data set, and uh, like, we have come to conclusion that uh, this plugin uh, like gives you around 95% uh, 90 of accuracy. Uh, like 5% you never know because some companies, like few companies have tricky names uh, and like uh, we cannot crawl those. So at that time, we'll simply say, you know, uh, like we don't have the details uh, or like it might sometimes, you know, you can search the wrong list. But most of the time, like uh, we have to it too and almost 95% time it works fine. Uh, yeah, and like only one more thing, uh, like uh, the, the home car, uh, pointed out that you should uh, once once like you install the plugin, you should refresh it because it takes a certain uh, like every plugin, every profile is different for every user, so it takes certain time to align to that uh, user interface. So just like if you refresh it, then it should you know not take anywhere like more than maximum nine seconds for any yeah. result. That's great. And didn't you guys tell me that the more people that use it, the more accurate it will get over time? Yeah, that's right. Yes. So uh, the, the way it works is more and more people uh, use it. Uh, we 
our crawler at the back and get more and more details about the companies people are applying and say uh, rob and nihar applies for a certain company so we already have that company's data and when omkar applies for the same oh we have it already so we we save on time and kind of, yeah it's faster efficient. and efficient yeah that's right i love it and right now it's free which is incredible you guys got some free credit from google right how does that work and then what about the future in terms of costs and what what can you what kind of help can you guys get from other students with that about that uh, right now it is absolutely free we uh, already have about 50 users uh, on board and um, we have some uh, we have google credits so until our credits are exhausted we are intending to keep it free for anyone we'll soon post uh, over linkedin and people can tag their connections and friends and uh, whoever is tagged they can directly go to our uh, link and download the plugin yeah. and uh, i guess nihar can tell uh, mm-hmm. after that so like uh, the future plans uh, till now like we have not get decided because there are short of things in place but uh, currently this plugin is completely free and uh, once like we exhaust those credits from google and uh, so we'll have to think about a different path from there onwards but till the time like we are still testing and uh, we are like keeping it free for everyone especially especially in this pandemic i would say like we are not going to charge anyone or like we don't have anything in mind as such mm-hmm. like we created it just for uh, like for our benefit and to give it to the society so we are like we intend to keep it free at least in this pandemic so i can just add uh, one more thing for the non candidates and who just love our plugin and our idea they can connect with us and uh, maybe they want to collaborate give us some feedback or uh, maybe uh, work with us we are open like we we welcome new ideas for sure definitely definitely and we would definitely uh, like to have a uh, you know, feedback if there's something which is uh, like there can be some discrepancy over data and everything so we would definitely want it to you know uh, like new people coming and telling us testing the plugin because the more people use it uh, the more refined it will be uh, the more uh, polished it will be and like our goal is to make it you know uh luckily we don't make it free for everyone uh, for every international student over there and you know we have to we have to keep accurate as as in this possible so definitely That's all right. the feedbacks and uh criticisms anything is like open like we are open to that <laughs> awesome yeah i love it yeah so in the video comments go ahead and give feedback or questions or ideas it looks like here you can also re- review it on the chrome web store so give it some reviews and also i'll give the links in the description for omkar and nihar for linkedin and you guys can message them there collaborate uh if you guys have ideas to how to continue to make this free or scale it in the future so more students can use it uh let's get more people on this and share this with more people and help people get jobs during this difficult time so ah uh, i learned so much i love this 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 makes me so excited this is the kind of things that Uh, I want Chai and Coach to be all about, you know, students uh, helping students and building this community. And Omkar and Har, thanks for reaching out. Thanks for making this, you know, not just keeping it to yourselves, but sharing it to others. And it's going to be a huge blessing. I know, and I love that people are already using it and and benefiting from it. So thanks so much for sharing it and, um, yeah, doing this awesome service. That's incredible. Absolutely, uh, Rob. And we would thank Chai and Coaching and you that you responded us over a Facebook uh, chat and. Uh, it was pretty good having this session with you. Oh yeah, I've loved it. We enjoyed it. Great. Well, I think Lord and like yeah. Well, I think everyone has learned what they need to know. We'll make sure all the information is available to you guys and um yeah, reach out to us if you guys have more questions, thoughts or feedback. And if this video is helpful, give it a big like, thumbs up to say thanks to Omkar and Nihar and um don't forget to subscribe with Chai and Coaching and connect with us online because we want to keep helping you guys out. make you guys aware of these great resources uh and collaborate these kind of things and thanks for joining us and we'll see you guys next time at Chine Coaching. Cheers. Cheers.